Hey, what's going on everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again with another LaunchBox news video. Today we've released LaunchBox 13.2 and of course with all of our new releases we've got some fixes, improvements, and some new features. In this video we're going to go over the major improvements and new features for 13.2 but if you're interested in checking out all of the fixes and everything else that goes along with this new release I'll leave a link to the changelog in the description. But let's go ahead and get started with this. And first things first, Eagle Eye viewers might uh, notice that I do have some icons over here on the left hand side. Now this isn't the default theme, but this is fully compatible with the default theme. I'm actually using Farron's Big Details theme, personally think it looks really awesome. Over 240 brand new icons have been commissioned. They're available immediately with the default theme, and as you can see with the updated Big Details theme from Farron, they're also supported, but they're easily added to custom themes, and premium users can actually swap these out for their own custom icons if they want to. All these images are going to be located in LaunchBox Images Platform Icons. So if we head over to this new folder, you see we've got our Platform Categories, Playlists, and we've also got our platforms. So we've got 240 new icons to work with, and they're all set up automatically inside of LaunchBox. You can disable this if you don't like them, but uh, personally, I think they look really good. And of course, premium users can replace these and create their own platform and playlist icons. Basically, this is going to support .png, and you're going to rename your custom icon to the exact name of either the platform or the playlist you want to use that new icon with. It's going to show right up in LaunchBox. And I really do think that this adds a lot to these LaunchBox themes. It's just really nice to see a little color over here in the sidebar. Really awesome feature if you ask me. Next on the list of new features, Retro Achievements, Steam Achievements, and GOG Achievements now support badges and on-the-fly filters. You can also auto-populate playlists using these new achievement features. So for instance, I'm going to go to my playlist section. I've already created one and I've just named it Retro Achievements. This just gives me all of the games that I have here on my system right now that support Retro Achievements. That way, uh, you know, I don't have to kind of sort through them. I've got everything here in case I want to do these achievements. But let's say we want to tackle the Steam Achievements. So I'm just going to go ahead and add a new one. We're going to call this Steam Achievements. Auto Populate. From our field section, you'll see we have a few new options here. Our GOG achievements. We also have the retro achievements. And of course, we want to go ahead and do the Steam achievements. Now this is just going to be a basic playlist to show me all of the Steam games that I have here that support achievements. So I want to leave this as supports. We'll choose OK. And it's going to auto-populate that playlist for us. So now if we go to Steam achievements, all of the games from my Steam library that support achievements are going to be listed right here. So this is really awesome. And remember, it also works with GOG, so you can create a playlist like that. Now heading back over to my platform section, we'll just go to Sega Genesis, View, Badges, Game Attributes, Enable Achievements. That way we have this new achievement badge right here. And of course, like we've had in the past, we have our achievements right here. So we can actually go through the list of achievements that are available for retro achievements on this particular game. This does require a little bit of setup. Obviously you'll need a retro achievements account and you'll also need your Steam API key if you want to do your Steam achievements. But other than that we've added a new feature for achievement scanning. It's been added to the tools menu and we have to run this at least one time. So if we go to tools, achievements, we can scan the particular platform that we're on right now. This is going to be a much quicker process. Or we can scan all of our games. Now, I will admit that the first time you scan all of your games, it could take a little while, depending on how many games you have. I've already gone through the scanning process, so it's already got my games cached, and it's really just looking for new games that have been added so it can scan those. But just keep in mind that the first scan will take a little bit of time because it needs to scan every single one of your games. As you can see, it's found some new games here. It's going to go ahead and scan through those for me. But this needs to be done at least one time in order for all of these new achievement features to work with LaunchBox. And once the scan is finished, you can enable the badges for achievements, which we have here. You can also do the auto-populate playlist if you'd like to do it that way. 
Now, I personally really do like this new feature. I think it's going to be great, especially for those achievement hunters out there. But uh, we've got one last improvement here that I kind of wanted to talk about or just touch base on. When it comes to Origin games or the Origin importer that we used to have, you can see that Origin is gone because Origin is basically dead. What we've got now is the new EA importer. So a lot of you who are using Origin might have noticed that it has swapped over to EA. So this is exactly what we're going to be using from now on. Origin has been replaced with the EA game importer. And again, if you're interested in checking out all of the fixes and improvements, because there were quite a lot with 13.2, I'll leave a link to the changelog in the description. But we really do hope you enjoyed this new release of Launchbox and Big Box. And I can't wait to see what the community and Launchbox theme developers do with these new icon packs. I'd love to see some more up on the forum. I think that would be absolutely amazing. But that's going to wrap it up for this one. Definitely keep an eye on the forum and the YouTube channel because we've always got new content on the way. And like always, thanks for watching.